Give the people what they want. Ring of wealth it is. Let's go all the way up. Well, I only have two for now, but good enough. So we get it up to plus three. And that will give us plus two drops. And this will give us another one. So we'll be automatically we'll be getting plus three equipment drops. And our drop percentage 107. Well, it's that one, 127%. So our upgrades won't be going into runic blade. So we can go ahead and use a stone of enchantment on it. Because I'll be using it for a while. And I'll get it. I'll end up getting a whole bunch of stones of enchantment as well. <laughs> we got lucky. <laughs> well, then this run is really playing out, isn't it? Okay. I just want to go invisible so I can hit it real hard. One interesting thing about this fella. Oh, um, me, I, when I stopped recording yesterday, I went up to the merchant and like, you know, I bought this onk and I blessed it. Sorry, I yelled O in the microphone. And I also turned in the rock berry and it was a corruption wand or wand of frost. And wand of frost is really good for ring of wealth runs because like if we wanted to farm spiders, we could turn it all into meat. And I will actually use another round of invisibility here just to let it walk away. Here you go. And kind of grab our experience there. So it looks like we are looking good. And no point in like being super cautious about our food and stuff, like letting ourselves get down to like 40 health, like 50% is how I usually do. I still stay healthy because we are going to get hundreds of food. So nice. Stone of deep sleep. Fantastic. So there are a couple ways to do it. Oh, also I went assassin because they have a big strong weapon. When I armed Ring of Wealth, I used a seed when I was learning how to do it, and I did it in the sewers because it's really easy to kill everything quickly. And you can stay at like, you can stay up until level 11, I believe it is, before you stop losing experience, but you have the, or before you stop getting drops. But there are the rare spawn thieves, and they come in and eventually will give you experience, and eventually you level out of the sewers. But you can actually farm. I'm pretty sure you can farm here for a long time, but the, um, the spiders are just annoying. They, they're really troublesome to try to farm. So I prefer to do the Dwarven Monks. And the best way to do that is actually to stop getting experience. <laughs> um, no, it's okay. The level cap there is 21. So the best floor to farm the monks is going to be 17 because golems don't spawn yet. And the monks do spawn. So you want to farm them, obviously, because they drop food. Then you get a ton of food and you are super good to go. So that's what I'll do. So I'm going to play through the caves, pretty normal mode. And then I also kind of want to use, I'm going to use these ranged weapons just because um, they're filling up all my inventory space and I'm, I'm tired of it. Come on, shoot. I'll just go invisible. Come on, get out of here. <clears throat> okay, fine. I'll pick you up. Look at all that money here. We're going to get a lot of money as well. So there is another way of going about it where I could just like run away from everybody and equip and go ahead and like get all the upgrade scrolls. And then if I save, if I don't kill anything, I could kill the bosses and still be, you know, low enough level to farm. Like I can stay below level um, 21, which is the cutoff for experience there. I just would have to, you know, save enough experience to be able to kill the uh, the king. And then I'll go through all the demon halls and um, gather the three upgrade scrolls from there. And then I'll farm with that. The reason I don't really want to do that is because you get three upgrade scrolls, right? It's going to boost my drops from plus six to plus seven only by one. And it's kind of a pain to do all that. Look at this. Look at these drops already. Isn't it wonderful? All right, we better go invisible. Mm-hmm. <laughs> fishing spear, go. My one fishing spear. Do me proud. Kill it. Yes. Oh, pick up my fishing spear. Ah, silent steps is so good because you can run in and pick up your fishing spear without waking up the other ones. So it's down there. All right. Let's just get a hockey. Get it. How much damage did I do? Oopsies. Nice. Pick up my spear again. It's going to go down here. Invisible. Nice. 
Yeah, so right right now we are at plus four and we have two more to get here, right? It gets to six and then the three in the metropolis will get us up to plus nine. So that's going to be plus five drops and this will boost us up to one more. So we'll get plus six. Now, if we were to go get the three more upgrade scrolls from the demon halls, that brings up to plus 11. So we'll get plus six drops plus this will give us plus seven. So it's a lot of work to only get pl uh, plus one more from the uh, from your equipment drops. Ooh, and speaking of, there's one right now. So that is Vampiric Longsword, and it's going to be um, plus two. It's going to be plus three. Probably not as good as uh, the Lucky Runic Blade, but, you know, here they come. They're coming in already. So the ray, the ray, the way um, Ring of Wealth works actually is it has its own loot table. So you get this bonus here, I believe is to the percentage of drops from the enemies. So like the, the healing potions from the bats and stuff, but the Ring of Wealth itself, the ones that make those sparkly little, like the gold and the green, those little special effects and the extra items that drop, those are actually... Um, its own little, it's like every 20 kills, it has a little timer and it counts down. I think it counts down from 20. And every time it, it counts down, like every time you kill an enemy, it counts down one. And like bosses, I think count for like 15. It, um, it, it gives you a drop from there and you have a chance of mostly getting a consumable, like a rune stone or a scroll or a potion, but you also have a small chance of getting um, rings and weapons and armors. And then from there, you have a chance of them being like low, medium, or high quality, the green, blue, and purple little spell effect there. Also, um, I know maybe you're thinking like, hey, do this, get this one so your ring of wealth goes up plus one. Well, I guess I could. It would bring it up to plus five now, which would give me plus, plus four drops instead of plus three. The thing about this, though, about that talent is I'm eventually, if I'm going all in on Ring of Wealth, I'm usually going for artifacts and then I transmute them into the um, the rose, the cursed rose, and then I get the ghost, which auto farms for us. And you don't really end up using this. I mean, I could use it now because I'm still killing things manually, but after that, yeah, I think I will. I'll, I'll get it next. But it's a very small window um, to, to do that with the ghost. And actually like have it be effective and you end up like really micromanaging a lot more and when you're just like mass farming it's not really like the most fun thing to do i said just go invisible my clock is getting a teeny bit low but we'll be okay um and also like if let's say you're at like an odd number like if i'm at plus five doing that getting plus one up to plus six actually isn't going to uh, give me any bonuses so odd numbers are really like your sweet spot because if you look at the wiki, how it describes how it works is it's always like the next level above it. So it's, that's why it says, you know, round up to the nearest even number and then divide that by two. So if it's a plus six ring, you get plus three drops. If it's a plus seven ring, you get plus four drops. But it's, if it's a plus eight ring, you also get plus four drops. That's why if you're not at an even number, it's very much worth it to, uh, oh, okay, I got to go invisible and actually kill this thing. And I'm out of scroll charges here. It's actually a bit of a pain. What do we do? What do we do? Go invisible here. Go speedy. It's a giant one. So it's giving me a hard time. Um, bummer. I mean, should we just try and hit it? I think it's going to heal though. Just watch this. Okay, good. We got lucky. Talking too much. Yeah, so if you're in an even number, it's very much worth it to throw a upgrade scroll in there. But if you're in an odd number, and that's you're going to put two in, it actually is not going to do you any good. Hope that makes sense. It's a little convoluted, but it makes sense once you get used to it. When I was making the Ring of Wealth farming guides, I was like, went through all of the misconceptions uh, and everything that could be wrong and like slowly kind of figured it out. Yeah, I'm just using my range weapons because I'm, I'm tired of my inventory being full. See that little green? That's the uh, stone of disarming there. Oh, Kidoki, do we have um, haste potion? I think we do. Yeah, okay, I'll go ahead and use that. But I don't mind clearing like normal through the caves. It's really when we get into the... Um, 
we get to the door metropolis is when we're going to really start the big farms and at that point i will actually probably skip all the enemies and i will run through until i collect all three of the upgrade scrolls and then i'll go back to floor um 17 there and start farming no sorry yeah 17 it's the one after the first one which is always seems to be the best so like floor 11 is the so floor 12 right Right, maybe I'm confused about that. It's the floor after the one with the merchant. So 15, we fight the boss. 16 has the merchant. 17 is the one we want to farm on. That's when monks first start popping up. That's when you get your food. And once you got your food, you go in infinite. One thing I would like to do this time... Oh, chilling crossbow. Free rounder could have been fun. What you got? Shocking longsword. I'll just leave it. I mean, we don't need it. And if I can keep my experience down a little bit, it'll give us a little bit of cushion. Or the pushing. Yes. Okay, so now we'll be getting plus four equipment drops. Looks like we're all cleared here. Ooh. Ooh, ooh. Okay, one thing I'd like to do this time, which I haven't done before, is not get distracted when I fight these things. Watch it, it's just going to run away and die. Uh-oh. We better kill it. I'd like to get an artifact and, like, level it up to 10. Like, ideally the Horn of Plenty. Can we... No, we probably want to lure one back. And I'll use the the bumped up assassinate charge here, since we already use since we already used the cloak. See how um, turns left are four, and if we look at our assassin here, um, turns for strong attack nine. Oh, okay, four. So we'd have to use another cloak charge if we wanted to get the next level up, which I don't really want to do. So I'll just go for this kill here. And you come come back here. Actually, maybe I shouldn't fight that. Oh well, I already committed. Because if we really want to rock the um, the ghost for the cursed rose, it's not going to work if we don't if we get it at um, so deep in the uh, the dwarven metropolis. Because you need to go around and pick up the uh, the little rose petals in order to level up in order to get its strength high enough to wear good armor. Because it has to be strong enough to fight for you. So actually, if you want to farm with it, that's why farming with it in the sewers is really good. It's really easy to farm with. But if we get it too um, too late, like in the Metropolis, I don't think we have enough pre-floors to actually like pick up enough rose petals. So what I'm thinking, I've never done this before, but I'm thinking maybe I can get like a horn of plenty, like transmute until I get a horn of, horn of plenty. I mean, it's a bit of luck. Like if I get the rose right away, I won't be able to. But if I could transmute into like horn of plenty or like um, a spell book or um, like a, a guy, a chalice of blood, I could level those up to 10. And I'm pretty sure when I transmute it, I will get a level 10 uh, Curse Rose as well. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm definitely going to try. Because if we can just get a straight up strong Rose and put plate armor on it right away, then we can just, well, basically what you do is you go to sleep and since you don't see it fighting, like you go in another room, and since you don't see it fighting, the the timer just spins and spins really fast, and everything just farms up massively. I guess I should kill the things that are awake, huh? Uh, no. These guys aren't being cute at all, are they? Let's go for the finishing hit here. Ooh, ouch. So let's go ahead and not be greedy. Yeah, I'll drop a healing potion. I mean, it'd be silly to die, you know? Yeah. 
Yeah, so if you can like tuck around the corner a corner and let the ghost do all the fighting for you, it just sits you'll just sit here and in your um your little chat box here, the council, it'll just be like you'll see something died in the distance, something died in the distance, something died in the distance, something died in the distance over and over and over again. The ghost kills things so fast. You know, it's like ten times faster than fighting things by yourself. And it actually is because I I think I'd set a timer for like 10 minutes and I killed things and I counted like how much my drops I got and I did it with the ghost and it was huge, huge difference. So let's step back here two scores away and get it to come to us. What are we getting? Oh, we got money. Nice. I'll take the money. I want these knives to just break and be out of my inventory. And yeah, I should probably be using the wand, but I'm just being lazy and overpowered. They kind of come hand in hand. Like once you get overpowered, you get lazy because you don't have to like mid max anymore. So we were at plus three, right? So we should be at six after this and plus nine when we're ready to farm the metropolis. Just a little mental note. Sometimes I lose track of how many upgrade scrolls I've gotten. Okay, fantastic. In here, I'm curious if I have any more scrolls. Nope. But I did want to melt this down, mostly for inventory space, but I can make it that a little stronger. And anything else to do in here? I did want to cook this up with a health potion as well, just because it's fun. It's something to make. Gets it out of my inventory as well, into my potion bag. So we need to make a little bit of energy here. Ooh, one second. Let's see quick if we have this. It's always fun. I always get excited about that. I like the free identifying. And you do we have? Will it tell us if we know what it is? Mm -mm. Nice. Got all these free identifies. Okay. So aggression is pretty good. These are all good, but I'll go ahead and make usually blast I do into energy because I don't use it too often. And we do shock probably. Sure. Let's just make a bunch of energy so we can quickly get this thing made for us here. You Plus a potion of healing gets us honey healing, more food and healing at the same time, which I'll probably never use, but at least it's not in my inventory anymore. That's the main point. Anything else? Yeah, we can move on. Oh, you know, we could like have some fun with these scroll of identifies. I mean, how much more do we have to identify though? Probably not much. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, we it we're, we're good. And the, since the rogue automatically identifies um, potions and stuff. So we can levitate over this, but we also have these like stone of disarmings. Where are they? We could just throw and break them up. But I think we'll just levitate. Oh, we have five of them. So this will be the theme. Get used to this. Me thinking I need something and then, oh yeah, I've got like a million of them. <laughs> We're going to have just tons of all scrolls and even the exotic versions. And if we wanted to, we could like make them all exotic. I was thinking, now let me know in the comments if you think this will be fun, but once I'm done farming, I'm going to have so many scrolls. What if I try and beat the rest of the game only using scrolls, like only like mirror images and prismatic images and like throwing potions and stuff like that? I've never done it before, so because I often have an inventory full of, you know, consumables, potions and stuff, and then I never use them. It could be fun to try and just win like only with like consumables. I'm sure someone's done it before. So it looks like we have a little bit more to explore here. Oh, ouch. Clever. Wand of transfusion. Maybe I just identify it quick. It's cursed and it's plus one. I just want to, um, we get six shielding. I mean, I mainly just want to melt it down, to be honest. That's why I went through the trouble of identifying it, because you can't melt it down. Otherwise... Okay, I'm just being silly here. I'll eat this. Everything's... So I can't, like, sit here and be so cautious anymore, because at this point, everything is overkill, and everything's going to be, like, you know, just too much. So I can't, like, stress out, oh, I ate a meat pie when I still had plenty of health left. So I love the garden because it charges up your assassinate. Oh, look, someone's in here. Let's get him. Oh, it saw me. Dang, I lost it. I should have cloaked. If I cloaked, I would have gotten a plus nine. That's so fun. So what I'll usually do is I'll kind of sit in here. 
And when I get to plus nine, I'll actually cloak and then like see if I can find somebody. Do 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 mm, It's not worth it. Use all my cloak charges. But last cloak charge. Okay, two, three. All right. Nope. It was fun while it lasted. If only this bat head came a little bit faster. Get it. Nope. Can't blink quite yet. So the key for that must be down here, huh? Ooh, I saw something. Where'd it go? Here it is. We're not completely invincible yet, but we're getting there. Was that another scroll of upgrade? Mm -hmm, it sure was. So unfortunately, yeah, this isn't going to do anything yet, but it'll get us closer. We'll get plus four if we get something like a plate armor. That'd be sweet. It'd be plus four. And it could even be enchanted, which would be even better. I almost feel like skipping these, but maybe I will, actually. Keep my level down a little bit. I guess. Oh, I did put one in there already. Should we go for two? Six turns? Or should we go? I don't usually go extra blink. And okay, sure. You get an extra 2%, but we are in heck. But we're already like completely maxed on that. So I don't think it's going to do us any good. Bum, 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 bum. I'll just go. I'll go. This one is pretty decent as well. What to do? One, two, three, four left. I think probably three in here. Maybe another one in there. Sure, why not? And then, what last chance? Oh yeah, okay, let's go... You... Little bastard. Did you. Die. Okay, so this is getting us to plus four. Plus, so we'll get plus five drops right now. Nice. Pretty good. How many more turns of it do we have? Two more turns. Yeah, I just want to melt this down. Because I want to boost up my Wand of Frost. Why? Because I don't know. Maybe I'll use it. And one more time, right? Yep. Okay, so that's, that's as far as you can go by using the uh, Arcane Resin there. It's plus three. Okay, fine. I'll kill you. watching my health there. I like to do a guaranteed finishing attack there. Okay, so it looks like this floor and the boss, and then we're next, and then tomorrow we're going to, um, I guess tomorrow we'll probably get this and the boss done, and then we're going to cruise through the metropolis. We're going to get the ring all the way maxed out, and we shall start the massive farm. It's going to be amazing. And then I'll probably be like pausing the video, and I'll come back, and I'll have like 20 food and then I'll have like 40 food but once I get the uh the rose we'll have like 300 food it'll be ridiculous anyways looking forward to it see you then cheers